Well, we've been here 25 years, so I like it. You know, it's the thing about Raw Street is that, you know, you get the general person, Miss America, Mr. America walking down the street, and you're exposed to criticism and praise. You know, that's what you get. You know, it's not like people walking into a museum looking for something. Uh, so you have to do something that really attracts the attention. And I didn't start out doing that, but that's to fight for that audience. Uh, it's great, you know, it's really great because it's a cross section of, of the whole country here, you know, walks down Raw Street in the world, you know. You know, painting should be like a signature. Everybody's different. You know, you can't paint like someone else, you know, because at one point, you, you stop. You have to look deep inside and paint what you feel, what, whatever it is, abstract, figurative, whatever it is. You really have to look at yourself and look at, uh, I want to do this for me. Because if you're trying to do it for an audience, you're never going to bounce anything. I'm dealing with shape, color, design, uh, ideas that in a graphic way, real graphics, you know, really when you look at it, you look at the graphics, you know, how, how did I, you know, why is the edges sharp and it looks like it was cut out and pasted, you know, I have a reason for everything, I can break down the painting, so it's really deeper than you normally would think. started painting ghost stories and one of the stories I wanted to paint was a loop garou. My mother told me when I was a little boy, if you're not good today, the loop garou will come and get you tonight. It's a crazy wolf, which was like the boogeyman. And so I just painted that as a loop garou and I took my photographs from my studio dog, Tiffany, who was with me for 10 years and I used, used her, her pictures as a basis for this loop garou. And she was black and white dog, but when I did the first painting, I used the moon, there was a blue moon, so it was kind of natural, blue, gray, green dog sitting on a gravestone, you know, and that's, that's how it started out, is, is that folklore legend of Luke Garou. I overheard people call it the blue dog, and it changed in my mind what was the blue dog, what was it about? So I dropped all the Cajun influence, I dropped the oak tree, I dropped everything with the painting and just used it as a blue dog and what, what does that mean, you know. It took another five years to figure out what it meant. <laughs> career can't be by what everybody's saying because when I started painting the blue dog everybody thought I was crazy you know you're not you're ruining your career you're not gonna why are you doing that you know and I looked at it as a person the dog you know just like my Cajun people people the dog was a person the dog was something it's eye level you know it's and it's instead of white it's blue and so it's a blue that doesn't relate to re the rest of the painting so um, you, know, you can't listen to anybody else you have to listen to yourself Before we would send out photographs of paintings, now you put them on your website, you know, and then we used to do postcards, and now we just put them on Facebook. So that whole business has changed so fast, and you have to know, you know to keep, keep up with it, you have to have people doing this for you, you gotta know where you wanna go, you gotta, you know, you gotta it's a new world, and it's, it's exciting, you know, it's, it's, I don't know where it's gonna end. <laughs>